Okay, the mo has been enjoyed. Now, I'm gonna bring out something that you're probably not expecting, but now listen, this is not a complete review of this product today. All it is is I'm gonna take it out, give you my initial thoughts, and I am gonna spread it in one spot. But before I just, you know, I'll just tell you, it's this stuff right here. This is um, a Melorganite clone is what I've been calling these. This one is probably one you're gonna see if you live in the South, for sure, you're gonna start seeing this one show up a lot. Um, this is by a company called Sunnyland. They're a Florida company, so you know I like local, of course. Doesn't mean I'm being disloyal to Melorganite. I still have, you know. Don't worry, I'm stocked, okay? You saw me put it down just a couple weeks ago. I will say this, uh, we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is, is see what it smells like and see if we can smell success in it. I had it here in the garage and we did get warm one day right after I had it in here and my wife remarked that it smelled like rotting pork in the garage. So things bode pretty well for it. I will say it definitely has a gamey smell through the bag. Um, with that, let's not, let's not wait any longer. Let's just get right into it. Man, you guys, you definitely tried to make the bag look very, very similar, didn't you? Um, I also bust their chops a little bit because it's made in Florida, but this is definitely, well, maybe slightly Floridian landscape. Looks like we got a fruit tree over here, and there's some sort of a palm back there, a cabbage palm or palmetto or something, but these, uh, these mushroom cap <laughs> junipers, those are all over Chicago. Anyway, I don't know. It looks like a cool season grass too, but that's all right. I'm just having fun with them. Uh, it is what it is. So this is a 640 though. So this is a true Melorganite clone and it also does have iron. I guess this isn't gonna end up being a comparison, but that's all right. You get more than you bargain for. So here we go. Um, yes, 640 iron, 2% iron, good. Okay, so there we go. Derived from biosolids, of course. And uh, this is done just the same way Milo is. It's just done in a different plant. And I'm sure they don't have the same bus burners that uh, Milo does. But also another thing to point out, this is 30 pounds here. So let's just do a quick look, I guess, while we're here. There you go. Now you can really see the similarities. Of course, that's going to change this year. This is going to have Phil Mazzotti's house on it. So that's going to be nice. But uh, yeah, there you go. So again, 36 pounds and 30 pounds. So MSRP in my area right now, 14 to 15. MSRP on this, 13. So do your own math on 30 pounds at $13 or... 14 or $15 at 36 pounds, whatever you do. I don't want to get too wrapped around the axle on that. Let's check out that uh, iron. Let's check out that iron content. So Milo, 2.5% iron on the Milo, 1.2% calcium. So I guess that means in Florida, we got a lot more milk drinkers, extra calcium. I don't know. I'm sure there's a joke there somewhere. Okay, so let's do a little comparison then. So here's the Sunnyland and there's the Milo. Let's see here. Milo texture, krill size. And now here's the Sunnyland, a lot larger. Bigger chunks. Good job, Floridians. Consistency is the same. In other words, you know, here there's, I don't know how many different krill sizes, but Oh, all in all, fairly consistent amongst the different pearl sizes, right, and not dusty. This is the same thing, just the average pearl is bigger, but it's not like they're super tiny ones and then giant ones. They're all fairly in that same kind of category, I guess you'd say, of size, so. Now for the one test that really matters the most, and that is the smell of success. interesting um, I would definitely say this is gamier but when I say gamier for sure but when you get down in it it's really more dumpster it's really like back of Publix dumpster no back of an old Winn-Dixie like an old Winn-Dixie in an old part of Florida that hasn't been upgraded like what their dumpster would smell like no actually what underneath their dock would smell like a lot of produce in there Floridians a lot of produce but it's gamier yeah, it's definitely dumpster. I, I get the rotting pork a little bit, but once you once you get it out here and you, and you let it out in the air a little bit, that goes away very quickly. So that's interesting. I can smell the rotting pork my wife mentions when it's in the garage. 
and things are in the bag, but w once you get it out and it airs out, that's gone almost immediately. And now, yeah, it's just dumpster. Even now, it's lightening up. I'm almost getting back to that good blueberry smell that we like. Interesting. Milo is definitely... We'll have to see how this goes after the spread, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say it does. It definitely smells like success. I'm going to give it that.